I hope you uh, like my previous video. The, in the last video I showed you how I showed this uh, telegram MP4 uh, EA, telegram MP5 EA. That made things very easy for me. Uh, you know, I you can know, open trade on 5 and uh, MP4, MP5 accounts. Uh, just one small signal on telegram and then they reach me and the uh, message is made uh, that uh, it has been open or uh, there is an error in booking that trade. I was thinking why don't I use uh, Python now because Python is a very powerful language and uh, if I can uh, bring in Python somehow uh, away then because with artificial intelligence and machine learning and deep learning stuff then we can as well. There are many challenges because uh, once uh, you uh, trade with, let's say, 10 brokers uh, with the same signal, so some brokers, have, all these brokers have uh, uh, slight variations in their prices. Secondly, uh, uh, the, uh, most of these brokers, uh, broker times are uh, a little bit different, maybe one hour difference, two hour difference. So, uh, so we have to uh, solve this problem. So I just started this project. Uh, by the way, I want to tell you this thing that uh, I am uh, not a professional programmer. I'm just a amateur programmer. And uh, I do this thing. I learned programming if you watch my previous videos also on my own and uh, just to uh, uh, do hobby projects, but these hobby projects have helped me a lot. So this is the uh, uh, Django model. Django is a, a Python a web framework, very popular. Instagram is made in Django. Uh, uh, they're all uh, the other uh, apart from Instagram. Pinterest has, uh, is also made in Django, and Quora is made in Django, and uh, Spotify is made in Django. Uh, there are many uh, website, big websites uh, that are made in Django, but you can well imagine if Instagram is made in Django, that means that it's a really powerful uh, web framework. So I made this model. The signal the C feels that thing. And then I uh, serialized it. It's all in Django, last framework gives you all the opportunity to do these things. Uh, and then I created the views, I created the URLs. I'm running this uh, local server on my computer. So let's let me show you. This. Test the signal. Test signal that uh, I want MP4 platform to read. This is that. Uh, admin interface. These are the three signals, the test signal that are entered. These are signals by limit from dollar 240, means H4 uh, first bar, uh, offset is zero, the magic number is three, risk is uh, two, light and up. Uh, 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 and the, that E is that I had uh, programmed for uh, telegram made my life very easy because I don't have to calculate any lot size 
I mean, stuff like that. Uh, we have to put the stop. I'll just give the risk level. 2%, 1%, 3%. I don't get more than 3% only. I don't get more than 3% test. So this is the project that I'm working on. I will cite puzzle. Well, my main job is trading and I most of the week I'm busy in looking at the charts and trading. So it can take me to let's say two months also. So now I'm stuck up over here. Web request once I made red web request from anti forward gives an arrow invalid array. I made this work for Telegram. And uh, I Googled a lot and some of the EA uh, already that had uh, implemented this web request for Telegram. So I took help from that to tell you the truth. But here I have people a lot, but uh, there's not much help. But I'm sure I'll be able to solve this problem. I have uh, installed Wireshark packet analysis on software on my computer and also Postman and I checked it. And uh, I think there's some problem with the request headers. This is the script that uh, I'm going to test it. Request headers accept. These all things are very sensitive to you in one full stop comma. There is some mistake going on over there. So I will solve this problem and I will uh, explain the whole project to you. And uh, I Hope you like it because I plan to make a three or more videos on this project. My aim is to uh, use Django and make a signal dashboard and uh, 100, maybe 200 uh, MP4 MP5 accounts can be connected with uh, Django and Django will monitor each account and tell me whether the days are connected correctly or not correctly. And uh, you know, whether uh, there's a problem in the execution of the signals. So, but I'm stuck for here, this web request. For if this web request is ready, as long as it doesn't work, I cannot connect with MP4. And uh, this web request is the same for MP5 also. But I hope I will solve this problem in the next two, three weeks. And, uh, that uh, I can get to that uh, the Django uh, uh, backend, and then after that, I plan to use the React on the front end. And with the EPD from the mobile, you can enter that uh, signals and you can monitor each account. In a way, I have not monitored accounts, uh, it will just uh, Django will uh, monitor the accounts right now. Uh, Telegram uh, does not give us this facility, but uh, once. Uh, I succeed on the example I will have in this thing. I don't do like this uh, video. And if you have some solution now to how to connect this back to the quest, uh, uh, I feel the uh, release of commands because I have also checking this telegram. It is already available on the Internet, so I copied it and it made things very easy. So, but uh, I am not able to do it on my own. Maybe I'm not a very good programmer. So, I hope you like this. Uh,